Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 40 of Let's Play Proper Portugal. Properly. It's been proper. Doing a better job now. So Mali, it's big. Um, we should probably see who has money. I haven't done the attack everyone for money thing in a while. Yeah, Mali's got 3,800 gold. Sounds like a good deal. How are you doing on tech? Still really far behind. Sweet. You're still sub-Saharan. Awesome. Sounds like I'm going to pick on somebody my own size. <laughs> uh, a little bit of revolt risk still over there. Some nationalism. Where is my, my transport fleet? Uh, let's grab you guys. And I don't know where they went. So I've actually lost sight of them. Down here. Okay. Okay. Join up with them. That's the mobile army. Revolt risk here is coming down. We've got the... Uh, Nationalism, wrong religion, it would only take, you know, 208 months, which is like 15 years to convert, so it's not even worth causing all the revolt risk, I think. I could attack the creek again, I believe. Let's do that. How much money do the creek have? A little bit. I want to vassalize them if I can. So we'll declare war on them. A little bit of prestige for it. And I don't have forced march. So we'll just siege. And it's four days at a time. It's really, really quick. No leader, though. So I should probably get one. We'll go with, uh, not him. We'll go with him. He's faster. Connecticut! I think we're almost done with overextension problems. Now, the only one ca causing overextension is actually Alabama, which really shouldn't cause overextension anymore, but it does, because... Or wait, wasn't Alabama aggressively conquested? Maybe that's why. That probably explains it. France has made peace in its war with Spain and forced them to give us our core province of Mercia. Cool. Sweet, France. Thanks, dude. It's nice of you. I'm still gonna backstab you. But I will improve relations with you for a bit. Okay, is my army together yet? Nope. Losing money. Not a big deal, considering how much money we're going to get for taking over their stuff. Alright. Some wool. And I do think I'm going to try to do, like, make him a vassal. Yes, yes, yes. Trading in fur. Of course we are. 100%? 100%. 100%. Look at those little ticks, man. Every three days. Got it. See, that's that's what I like. We should totally be at war with them. So, alright. The Creek. I want you to not be fully annexed. I want to make you into a vassal. And also, I want you to give me all of your money. And that, that'll do. And that way I can, uh, I can just try to integrate them at some point. They hate me. Conquered our province. Yeah. Declared war. Aggressive expansion. Yeah. Ease tension. You know. I don't know. At least then I'm getting some income from them as a vassal. Some. I mean, it's it's better than better than nothing. An alliance from England. Sure. I don't actually want to go to war with England, so sure, why not? Got a royal uh, royal marriage with them. Tennessee. Didn't I already do the Tennessee Star Fort? Why isn't it done yet? Oh, there we go. Two weeks away. We will repay this loan. 
I don't think I have any other loans. Good. We are losing money again, though. So, uh, the Creek are our vassal. The Iroquois are our vassal. The Iroquois actually like me a lot. 198 improved relations. They have the plus 50 for being a vassal. So, to annex them, I just need to get them a little bit higher. They have no declared rivals, though. So... Sending them a gift would not be enough. I'll just have to continue to to improve relations with them. Fortify Shawnee. Some manpower. Push to India. Conquest of Tangier. <laughs> Alright, push to India. What's this all about? At least one province in Indian coast have discovered any all. I just have to discover it. Okay. We can do that. Do we have any ships down here? No? How about that one? What's that one doing? We're gonna need a explorer. We'll use this as, a, as an exploration ship since it's fast. That will be good. Come on down. Have it go port, go to port, and then I'll put our new explorer on it. And I should probably check to see how our advisors are doing. I haven't done that in a while. We're one over the limit. Oh, morale of armies guy. Yes, please. Better relations over time guy. That's good. Administrative tech cost guy. Ooh, national revolt risk. Am I still kind of threatened by that? Am I... How are we doing? Got a little bit here and there. He's only a level one. And I'm not doing admin tech, am I? We're at level 11... I don't think so. I don't think we need to worry about admin tech for a while. We'll go ahead and get this guy. Theologian. Alright. Okay, let's go discover the Indian coast. Also discover some more Americans, or uh, native natives that we can attack. Oh, that reminded me. I was supposed to be doing something. <laughs> As always. So we're at 6 out of 6 diplomatic relations. We've got military access with the Hausa. Don't really need that. Just got room for another vassal, really. Here. Cancel military access. The Hausa... Have money? Do they? 200. That's all their land, right? Just three? And they're really far behind on tech. And I don't think I have a truce with them. I should just attack them. But what I wanted was these... These troops are going to go on a little mission. Either to attack the Aztecs, who have no money that I can see, apparently. Aztecs. They're down to nothing. Wow. All right. Well, who else? Mali. I was I was gonna go attack Mali. Or Congo. Let's go do that. I'll take this this army over here. Oh jeez. Grab the boats. Pull the troops. There we go. And I think we've got those all pretty well secure. The Iroquois have been capped out on opinion. Okay. Time to begin the annexing process. 15 bonus from a gift takes us to 180. So... I don't really think there's much else I can do to please them. Aside from... Well, it's going to go down by 5 per year. Up by 6.8, plus minus 1, so down by... Yeah, I can't do like a royal marriage or anything, right? No, I'm going to have to keep on improving relations every time it goes down. Let's 
Let's work on this mission. I want to get this done. Having this as a spot should make it pretty safe to explore a bit. We're still in friendly water right here, actually. Okay, so we've discovered Swahili. Swahili has 15,700 gold. Of course they do. It makes perfect sense. Level 5 tech. I think I know who we're going to attack. I'll give you a hint. It's not Mali. It's only 16 regiments, so we can actually fit these other four. Okay, where's my, my dude? I'm going to make you level group 2. Suffering a little bit of attrition, but that's fine. The ship's fully, fully repaired. This can actually be group 1. Okay, let's go find India. them up. Okay. I believe I already have the conquest CB against them. No, I, I don't. The Ottomans is the defender of the Sunni faith and will protect them. Well, you're kind of far away. Swahili are very weak and feeble. I have no cast a spell eye though. So can I fabricate a claim? No, I cannot. Hmm. I guess that's not really gonna be an option. I thought one of the national ideas gave us the ability to do that, didn't it? Oh, they're not considered a pagan. Which one is it, out of curiosity? Isn't there one? Less advanced Asian nations in Asia. Huh. I don't know. Okay, well, I guess we are going to attack Mali then. But I want my conquistador. That one. Nice, very nice. Yes, Mali. Oh, Mali. Hey. No cast a spell, I. I disagree. It's gonna take forever! Okay, well who can I attack? Congo? Yes. How come I have the Colonial Conquest CB against you? Alright, I need to look at this again. Colonial Conquest. It's not that. Permanent cast a spell against other government types. I'm just, I must just be missing it. Because I have... something. It's giving me claims on some people. But not others. Alright. Well, we'll go attack Congo. And it will be glorious! New tech. Military tech. We're ahead. Man, I'm really doing well with military tech these days. Uh, no sense in really doing it right now. Getting those extra knights would be sweet, though. I don't even think I need to bump up military maintenance. In fact, I should have turned it down a while ago. Especially because we're losing money. Ah! You're fighting peasants. I love it. It's funny. It's 
jeez, look at that. He's trying to retreat. Okay. Actually, it's probably better just to split them equally. And what should we do? Should, should we go ahead and get it? I mean, maybe wait till January and then just get it anyway? What else am I going to spend military power on? Well, we could try to unlock another military idea group or something. Soon I'll need to do that. Get another idea group in four more of these. Let's just win this war real quick. And by real quick, I mean real quick. Okay, I want you to... Should I make you a vassal? Just give me all your money. And revoke your core. Give me your trade power. And do I want to make him a vassal? I don't think so. They're too small. Just just do that. Just, I just want your stuff. Our merchants report that they are facing stiffening resistance to try to trying to peddle their wares. Well, that's too bad. For a year. Or for a year. I'll do the minor one. Okay, January. We're looking for January. I think I will do it in January. And... Got room for another person. I think I should try to... to vassalize someone or something. Let's also check out the Iroquois. Maybe we can integrate them soon. There's only room for three more improved relations from this, so that takes us to 169 plus 15 for sending them a gift. Not going to be enough. But we have a spare diplomat, so it makes sense to cap them off. The creek are going to take forever, but I don't care. I feel like I am not getting enough colonization right now. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be kind of non over expenditure about it, but... Over force limit. Whoa! Oh my gosh. I did not remember to even consider that. When I moved my capital overseas and we got the better force limit modifier on the, uh, not force limit, but yeah, we got better manpower modifier for not having everything overseas, I got a huge increase to the force limit. And then when I moved it back, it went down, so I'm paying out the nose for being over my force limit. So we've got to get rid of some, some armies here. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Well, um, I don't care about the cavalry, that's for sure, since they're all really weak. Well, changing them to the next level in a couple months isn't going to be a big deal. I could get... Uh, let's get rid of the cheap guys. Let's get rid of the infantry, I guess. So there's seven down. still a lot over. Where else can I get rid of guys? Okay, he's collecting. That is going in the right direction, right? Good. Okay, I never actually checked it. Huh, okay, what else can we get rid of? I mean, I've got... Okay, 12,000 there, we need those. These thousand we can just get rid of. They're on an island and they're annoying anyway. These 12, I really would like to keep. I'm only 8 over my limit now. Hmm. 
all these cavalry are just going to put me way over the limit. So let's just get rid of the cavalry too. We'll keep the cannons. I like cannons. Alright, close enough. I mean, we're three over, but now we should be making money again. Thank goodness. Alright, well I'm going to take a break here and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.